Hello oh guys, I know a lot of you play Fantasy Premier League. I have set up my own league. The code for the league will be down below. Just copy and paste that and join the league. There's already some of you in there. I've shared on all my social medias. If you want to look for the link on there. But the link will be down below in the comment section. A lot of you join my championship one, which is very, very good to see. So make sure you guys join in the Premier League one. And look forward to seeing the scores after this weekend. So the code will be down below. Join the Swans Away this YouTube league. <laughs> Hi guys, Swan Dwayne is here, back again for another video on the channel. And this one today then, Swan City are playing their first home game of the Sky Bet Championship 2021-2022 season. And it's against recently relegated Sheffield United. We're going to go onto the table in Swan City there, currently 21st in the Sky Bet Championship after losing two under Blackburn Rovers in the last league fixture. Sheffield United are placed below us in 22nd place after losing 1-0 to Birmingham City at Bramall Lane. I'm going to touch on the cup game though, not the league game. Swan City then beat Reading 3-0 in the week. A very, very good performance against quite youthful red inside but you still got to beat what's in front of you some very very good performances two corner goals two defenders scoring as well which is very very good and Joel Peru got his first goal for the club Sheffield United then beat Carlisle United 1-0 and former Swan City man Rian Brewster scored his first goal for the club very very happy for Rian Brewster you know it's been a long long time coming for Rian you know hopefully he can find his feet at this level now again but not this Saturday hopefully you know the week after that but yeah he'll be a danger man this weekend there's plenty more danger men but yeah Sheffield United in round two of the Carabao Cup, but of course they did lose 1-0 to Birmingham City where you know they did dominate the game but they didn't really you know have many shots in front of the goal so yeah poor start for Sheffield United really so going on to the Sheffield United's best three players so far this season like I said there's only been one competitive game in the Skybet Championship so these are the three best players from that Birmingham game in third place you've got George Baldock with a 6.74 in second place and surprisingly slat Sheffield United you got Sam De Burge with a 6.94 and in first place you got Ben Osborne with a 7.09 so if all these three players are playing Saturday. We need to look out for those. Going on to Sheffield United's options up front. They've got Ollie McBurney, Rian Brewster, Billy Sharp, Lees Mousset, David McGoldrick, Oliver Burke who can play up front. What a ridiculous bunch of strikers those are at this level. Absolutely unreal. And, you know, considering they've only scored one goal in their first two games so far this season, including the Cup, I'm very, very surprised. Whatever the strikers they decide to play against us on Saturday, you know, we're going to be in for a tough test. Doesn't matter if it's Mousset, Sharp, McGoldrick, McBurney, Brewster, Burke. Doesn't matter who it is, we'll probably will struggle. You know, what a bunch of strikers they have. Of course, McBurney and Brewster, former Sun City men. They've not done too well at Sheffield United so far, McBurney and Brewster, in goal sense, but they're still very, very dangerous players. And we all know what Swansea are like against former players of the first time of asking. We've seen it so many times before. Sam Klukas, Joe Allen, Wilfred Borney, Scott Sinclair. The list goes on. But will the list carry on this weekend? Hopefully not. So the last three times Swansea City have played Sheffield United, we've won all games. The last fixture we played against them was when Sheffield and I got promoted, we beat them 1-0. So I do have an opposition fan on the Shoham view has kindly come onto the channel and give his thoughts on the game from a Sheffield United perspective this weekend. I've also featured on his channel. My voice isn't as butchered on this video as his channel. So you know if you want to hear a good voice, go on his channel. I've done a match preview on his channel, so make sure you check that out. But here's what the Shoham view has got to say about Sheffield United's chances this weekend. Hiya, my name's John and I'm from Sheffield United fan channel on YouTube, the Shoreham View. Big game against you all lot of the weekend. It's going to be a tough one. I don't ever remember us really winning at Liberty Stadium or Swansea.com Stadium, whatever you want to call it nowadays. But, to the best of my ability, I can't think of a time that United have won there. So, confidence isn't exactly running high. Last two games, Birmingham game were disappointing. 75% possession in our own half. It just didn't scream attacking, threatening football. Hopefully, it's just because they're bedding into a new system. Some of the players look really good, some looked not as good but I'm hoping we can improve. The Carlisle game, played a lot of youngsters. First half, a lot of them looked assured, looked like they played really well, but that's a League Cup early round game, innit? You can't really take too much from that. Three key players for us, Sander Berger, obviously. Um, the longer he's here, the more chance of success we do have. Just so good on the ball, just plays so well. Uh, I think some of the key players that we have to keep fit are John Egan. Is our rock at the back, especially if we're missing O'Connell for any length of time. We need to keep Egan fit, otherwise we are 100% stuffed. As for the other key player, it's a difficult one. Because on paper, you'll know Brewster, McBurney, two of your ex-players that you probably beg back at the moment, aren't really doing it for us. I'm hoping they can find some form. 
are the key players, not at this stage, but hopefully in the future. So for the third one, I'm probably going to have to go. It's a tough one. You, you put me on the spot here. <laughs> I'll probably say at this stage, John Fleck. If we can, if he can find any kind of form, he's going to be dangerous at any level he plays at. Score prediction and scorers. You see, I think it's going to be a nice scoring game, but I think you'll have the edge. I just don't see our jinx at your place leaving anytime soon. Because it's been three two to Swansea. I can see Grimes and your your new guys at Piro. I've written down one minute. Piro, Piro, Piro away. My pronunciations in the foreign language, if I haven't heard it once already, are terrible. So please forgive me. Uh, but I do think both Brewster and McBurney will score against you. I think Brewster's found his first goal now, he'll get another. The ex-player curse, McBurney, of course he's going to get one. But I don't think that'll be enough for the victory for the Blades. Anyway, see you all on Saturday. I'd say good luck, but I honestly don't mean it. So going on to injury news in Swan City, still have a couple of absentees unavailable for the game. Connor Roberts, Corey Smith, Liam Walsh, Tivon Rochers here, Jay Fulton are all definitely out. Ben Heyman, Lewis Webb, I'm not too sure if they still isolating or will they be available. Ryan Manning made his first appearance of the season, which was very good against Reading. So it looks like he has done his self-isolation is back available for the Swans. For Sheffield United then, only one absentee, and it's Jack O'Connell. He is out until September. So going on to score predictions then, three of you had a correct score prediction against Reading. So congratulations to CJ Lewis-Clark, Cosmas Gaming, and Daffith Evan 7. Congratulations to you lot, who got your 3-0 score prediction right against Reading. If you want to be featured in the next match preview, which will be Monday against Stoke City back in the Sky Bet Championship, then get in your comment sections down below. Of course, no extra time, no penalties needed. Your 90-minute prediction, and if you are right, you will be featured in Monday. Monday's video. So you've heard the team news, on to my Stan 11. So I'm going to stick with a back five in goal, Stephen Bender, very, very impressive game against Reading, first clean sheet of the season for him. Back five, Joe Latabordia on the right wing back, Kyle Norton, Ryan Bennett, Ben Gabango, Jake Bidwell. Latabordia down that right hand side on Tuesday night was superb, and Norton in defence was a lot better than what he was a wing back against Blackburn Rovers. Free midfield, it's going to be Flynn Downs to make his debut partner with Matt Grimes and Jamie Patterson as a number 10. And up front, Jamal Lowe and Liam Callan, no place in our lineup for no Peruno party. It was very, very close between him and Liam Callan, but I've just gone for Liam Callan because I think this game will suit him more than Joel Peru, just because the centre half is going to be massive. So I think Callan could pick up the spaces and you know have a bit more movement on the ball. So my score prediction then, unfortunately, in a back throw first loss this season. I just think Sheffield United's squad is just a lot better than ours. And I just think you know the return of McBurney and Brewster will be deadly for them. So goal scorer for Swansea, Jamal Lowe, goal scorer for. Sheffield United, McBurney and Brewster of course so like I just said, Swansea 1 Sheffield United 2 is my prediction comment down below your score prediction so thanks for watching guys, please like, button, comment, subscribe there will be a match day vlog tomorrow hopefully a full one, none of this 5 minute crap I had against Reading so Power Bank will definitely be bought before Saturday looking forward to seeing some of you guys there at the Liberty Stadium so soft out Liberty Stadium, I think there's about 17,000 fans there which is very very good of course, we're not allowed the full 20,000 because Mark Drayford hasn't allowed it yet but it still should be a very very good atmosphere we are closing on 4,000 subscribers, so if you are new to the channel, please, please do subscribe. It's free to do, it takes about two seconds, and it will really help me out. Can't wait to be back at Swansea.com Stadium, 8 o'clock kick off on Saturday. Buzzing to be back at the Swansea.com Stadium. I'll see some of you there. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.